Uh, good morning, everybody. I got 20 minutes video space. So, I, I wonder why. <laughs> Deleted almost all my videos. So, good morning. Uh, happy uh, Saturday. How's things going for y'all? <laughs> I did my little uh, pictures in the in my driveway. I'm trying to look like uh, Alina Haba and Margot Martin. <laughs> so I'm not wearing green though. Oops. <laughs> they try. Are they famous? <laughs> They're uh, schmoozing in the Hamptons. That's what's happening. So I gotta be here. And Alina Haba and Margot Martin are work twinning in the Hamptons. <laughs> okay. Sounds about right. <laughs> so, oh, I can't talk about them. That is bad for business is it bad for business huh I'm ruining the brand I'm crazy and I'm ruining the brand I can't talk about them <laughs> let's go Benjo that's why I only got 28 minutes of video space <laughs> just kidding but maybe anyway so I saw on the internet a lot of people say Margot Martin looks like a Melania <laughs> so you know what in those photos she really does what's up with that it's odd anyway I didn't know if y'all knew that they say Margot Martin is uh, Melania Trump look like. I say, what if they say anything about me? Who do they say looks like me? <laughs> anyway, good luck in the Hamptons. So I might not be on Trump Force One, but I got uh, Michelle Force. Uh, cable box transistor box and this old back alley over there one second oh man he was a running puppy did get out video I guess I didn't press the button anyway <laughs> awfully bad for the brand and that's Lena Haba and Margot Margo Martin's uh, PR consultation. <laughs> so she's the lawyer? Okay. I know in D.C. they have legalized weed. So much so that there's even businesses that can deliver it to you. In Washington, D.C., uh, District of Columbia, <clears throat> Not everywhere in the United States, but there they have legalized it. And I know KGP had some issues there too. Press secretary. I think there were some legal issues there. I'm not sure though. Don't quote me on it. Anyway, very quiet morning this morning, huh? Let's go with you. Uh, if you're wondering about the elementary school, um, I've been, uh, since I haven't been running by it, I've been planning to uh, either drive by it or something. But I ran by a little, uh, ran by it a little bit yesterday. Um, when I'm on Litchfield 
and you go to like Green Tree or Greenfield or something like that, you look down the street and you can kind of see the elementary school. So, uh, um, it didn't look like there had been any improvements, uh, any progression, because I know school starts in mid-August. So, uh, there's that. Looks like there's not a lot of progression going on there. It was just like a dirt hill with work trucks on it. <clears throat> so I don't know what's gonna happen. They're gonna have all those kids, elementary school kids. I know Hobby Middle School's <laughs> construction zone. They're gonna have all those kids uh, going to public school. I mean, not like KIPP schools where it's like a public, it's a charter public tuition free school, which doesn't belong to any district. It's just called KIPP schools. Uh, I know with the public school, they are uh, doing a lot of construction. And so I'm wondering how, how are they gonna go to school? Is it gonna be that COVID learning? They're gonna have kids in a construction site I mean, what's the process going to be there if, and unfortunately when, uh, school starts and they're not done with the school, building the school? So, um, concerned about that. So we have uh, TYT uh, championing mail-in ballots my description of it i think if they can be uh, <clears throat> superfluous like that then i'll just be on par they're championing uh absentee ballots unsolicited no excuse absentee ballot they're championing that's my description right um <clears throat> Which is something they've done since before the 2024 presidential elections. Just kidding, but they haven't. At least when I watched them, they never said one word about absentee ballots. Not one. But that was back when I was a subscriber. I am no longer a subscriber. Because I stopped listening to them. I didn't like their views on a lot of stuff. Anyway, eight minutes in. I guess I'll go ahead and end this video here. Um, I have to see why I only have 28 minutes of video space left. Check that out. It's one of those where I, I, we're back in that cycle where I delete stuff and the more I delete, the less video space I have. We're back there again. I shouldn't have talked about my phone storage space yesterday. Shame on me for doing that. Anyway, good morning, everybody. Another day, another dollar. Rally day. It's not Minnesota. Where is where was the rally today? Oh, I'm gonna have to look it up. So, well, hello to everybody there. I can't be there, obviously, because I'm not work twinning, but I'm working, so to speak, harder than TYT. Anyway, y'all have a good one. If you're a human trafficker, pedophile, terrorist, treasonous, pathetic loser, I ain't talking to you. To everybody else, I hope I have a good weekend.